All right, we're here to take a look at the Poly Studio X30 and X50 update that just came out and noticed a couple of the new things. I was really looking for these, so they're um, interesting to me. So the X30 up there, and the first thing that we're going to notice here is the, um, is the share. And this now works perfectly. Uh, I've been waiting on this. You plug an HDMI in your laptop and you'll notice immediately the uh, screen, it will say sharing. Notice that jump to sharing and now we're showing it on our screen. The other item, so HDMI sharing now works. So I'll unplug that again and you'll notice it jumps back to, to not sharing. Um, if we swipe this out, uh, we're gonna notice another thing, device mode. So you click on device mode and you'll notice the, some new controls come on here and you'll notice that it also shows on the screen. Um, but the way you probably most people will use this is you'll just uh, exit that, go back to the main screen. I don't know if I can get it to go, yeah, it goes back. It takes a little, I noticed it takes a little bit. But really, you put in the X, uh, Studio X30 and 50, there's a little USB-C cable and you'll notice I have it just draping down over there. And you're gonna take this cable and just plug it in into your PC. So I just plug USB in. You'll notice what happens, it automatically detects that you're using it in device mode. You don't have to actually press anything. Uh, it just starts working. So now it's gonna be installing uh, USB speakers on my PC and I can use it. And if I wanna use the monitor, remember HDMI now works, so we can just plug that in and the monitor will work. So what's really cool there is now uh, you're using it as a room system and you come in the room with some totally, you know, someone wants to use Google Meet Meetup or Meet Now or whatever it's called, they can just walk in the room and do that. So, and you can set how long after you unplug the USB, it goes back to the other screen, or you can hit exit here like I did before. And it will, it takes a little bit, a little sluggish, it should go back a little sooner, I think, but. And then the third thing that I've noticed um, is, if we swipe out from the side here, we have, um, some camera controls. And I have not been able to get this work, but being able to turn the tracking on and off right from the control here. Um, but the other thing is these presets. And I have not been able to get it to work for some reason. I'm probably not clicking some button right, but it's pretty pretty neat. It looks like if you don't have automatic tracking on, you can set some presets that you can control so you can just change it uh, from the controller. So that's, that's a new, a nice new thing. And then one last thing. Did I hit that right? Well, that seems like that button's not working, but hit back, it does work. So swipe out here. One last thing is the environment. So if you want to, it looks like Poly supports uh, some Extron devices and uh, can do that by going on this and I don't have it. I don't actually have the device. Whoops, not settings, not what I wanted. What I wanted is demo mode to show how this looks. Um, enter demo mode, tap screen to enter demo mode. And uh, there you can see the Xtron, and you can, uh, the, the UI does not match the room system UI or the poly UI. It's yet another UI from Xtron, I guess, um, but lets you do some in room AV control. So, all right, very good. The poly, the poly um, Studio X30 and X50 poly firmware or upgrade 3.9.